Hi guys and welcome to another ESP8266 technical video. In this video we're going to talk about installing the Espruino JavaScript runtime on our ESP8266s. Now currently, as of uh, October the 15th, 2015, the Espruino build of, uh, uh, for ESP8266 is still in beta. However, it's still very, very functional and uh, you can do a lot with it. So the first thing you're going to have to do is go and get the firmware images. And there's two files needed for this, Esprino 8266 board zeros and Esprino 8266 board hex 10,000. Both of these are bins. And you can find those on the Esprino, Esprino builds link. And from there you can download a zip file and from the zip file you can extract these two binaries. And of course in the YouTube comments I'll, I'll put in links to all of this. So you start off by getting these two binaries binary files. Next you're going to need a tool to flash your 8266. Personally I use NodeMCU Flasher for simple uh, simple tasks. You can download the binary release here and you end up with an ESP8266 Flasher tool. So I've got my ESP8266 already plugged in to my COM port and if I bring up the ESP8266 Flasher tool having a think. There's my flasher tool. My COM port is COM15. If I go into the config section, you want to configure whoop, you want to configure two files. You want to configure the zero file to load at zero and you want to configure the 10,000 file to load at 10,000. Make sure you don't set it to be 1,000. Instead set it to be 10,000. Go back, make sure both of these are checked. We want to upload both files. Go to the Operations tab, hit Flash. Now what's happening is the firmware images are being flashed into the flash memory of the ESP8266. And it's going to do two flashes, one for the first file, which is uh, relatively small, and one for the second file, which is a little bit bigger. Now at the end of all of this, you're going to have a JavaScript runtime installed in your ESP8266. That means you can write JavaScript-based applications. Now in this tutorial, we're not going to we're not going to delve much into the story on the JavaScript. Uh, you can go to the esperuno.com website, or you can get yourself a JavaScript book, and you can start studying on JavaScript in your own time. So what's happening now is we're nearly completed with the upload of the firmware into the ESP8266. And if I knew any good jokes, I'd tell them at this point, but I don't. So we're just relegated to listening to my voice while we watch this slider bar slide up to 100%. Yeah, we're nearly there. Nearly there. Just a little bit more. Oh, there we go. All right. So now we've flashed our ESP8266 with all of the firmware images. Now what we need to do is we need to go to the Google, uh, what is it, the Chrome, I'm sorry, the Chrome Apps Store in your Chrome browser. Go to your Chrome App Store and then search for Espruino and there's the Espruino Web IDE and select Add It. Now what that will do is that will add in to your Chrome apps the Espruino application. And when you load the Espruino application, it looks like this. Very nice. Very nice. Now, from here, first thing you're going to want to do is go to the settings and change your communication speed. The default is 9600, but most folks, including myself, don't have it at 9600. We've got it cranked up all the way to 115. 200. So you need to have this speed match your USB speed to your uh, ESP8266. Now you can click this icon up here, which is the connection icon, and pick the COM port, mine happens to be 15, the COM port to which your uh, ESP8266 is connected. 
uh, select that and now if everything has worked uh, what you should now do is reset your ESP8266 so when you reset it by either powering it down and powering it back up or hitting a reset button you get a nice welcome message saying we are connected to Esprino and from here you can enter JavaScript statements so if I enter 1 plus 1 well that's the JavaScript value of 2 if I enter print hello world can't have a programming example without a print hello world it prints hello world if I say var i equals 10 and then print i it says 10 I say i equals i minus 1 print i i is now 9 for i equals 0 i is smaller than 10 semicolon i plus plus uh, curly brace print i semicolon close curly brace enter we printed a loop of 10 values here and that's it that's all I'm going to show you about this what we've done is I showed you how to download or where to download rather the binary files I showed you where to get a flasher program for example node MCU flasher we showed you how to configure the flasher to load the appropriate files into the appropriate memory locations we downloaded or installed the Esprino web IDE you bring up the Esprino web IDE you set the uh, communication speed got to do that and then you can connect to Esprino on running on the ESP8266, reset the board if necessary, and you can type in and run programs all using the JavaScript environment. So I hope you found this useful. Look for more technical tutorials like this coming up in the future. Thanks now. Bye-bye.